for my baby's face. There's a red house for my honey baby. That's where my baby is hanging. I ain't been home to see my baby in about a 99 and a half days. Wait a minute, something's wrong, baby. <laughs> Wait a minute, something's wrong. The key won't lock the door. I got a bad, bad feeling. My baby. Gaines family are my special guests tonight. Grady Gaines Sr. is on the phone with me. I'm going to be talking to Carolyn a little bit about the brand new great CD they have, The Thrill is Gone. All great family entertainment, Grady Sr., Jr., Carolyn, and everybody. So with that being said, sir, come on in the show. Mr. Grady Sr. is on. Thank you, sir. Okay, this is Grady Gaines in Houston, Texas. Houston, Texas, you know, and you have so many family members. When I've talked to Carolyn before, excuse me about that, it was Grady Sr., Grady Jr., her father, Roy Gaines. Oh, legendary blues. And you, my friend, on the sax, you go back to Little Richard and all those fun original rock and roll roots days, and thank you for doing all that good music for everybody. Uh, Okay, well, I'd like like to say uh, it's my pleasure. Thank you. Um, can uh-huh. you? I know you said you're a little bit under the weather. You're coming back, and, and again, thank thank you for coming on the show. Can you tell us a little bit about the the new CD? Anything about uh, you'd like to chime in about with Carolyn and your son and and everybody else? Yeah, the thrill is gone. I love it. Uh, I, I like the CD. I like the CD. Uh, I was sick when we did, <laughs> but mm-hmm. I, I, but uh, anyway. I, I, I like the CD. I think it's coming out good. And um, tell me, sir, playing the sax for so many, so many years, that is just such physical. I, I love to talk to the artist about what you do on a, on a personal level about your, your profession. You know, keeping in shape and the lung capacity and all that. You know, how, how, how do you work on that? I mean, is there, like, exercises that you do as a saxophone player or, you know? Anything like that? All these years of your technique and things? Uh, well, 
I I worked all of my uh, all of my life, you know, playing playing this music ever since I was about 13, 12 or thirteen. Uh huh. And um, I played for about five decades uh, all over the country with different artists, and 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 uh, we did some with my with my group, the Upsetters too. So uh, we back in in, in that time. And during that time, we uh, we bagged just about some of everybody that was in about it. Uh, during the time, I I was out there on the road. I stayed out there about 35 or 40 years. Yeah, and you're talking about, we're talking in the 50s and the, the little, again, the little Richard days that you were with. And Big J McNeely, that's another famous artist that your family and Carolyn and everybody knows, um, you guys. And, uh, you know, I love that early days of rock and roll sound with that sax. And you guys out there, because you, you were the standards. You made it to what we have today, sir. You know, uh, what we have today is all because of what you guys did. Uh, any stories a little bit on the road you'd like to share or anything like that? Those early days, I love the history of who you were playing with or anything like that. I enjoy playing with, with, with them all because uh, for my love for music, and I enjoy working with them all. I like Lil Willie John, Sam Cooke, Little Richard, uh, Ella Jane, uh, the Supreme, uh, Smoker Robinson, all of my life. Yeah, I had the band. We were working at the same booking agency out of New York, out of Universal Attraction. And uh, I was a band leader for all all, all of those guys. We go up, we would go across the country. Um, we 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 have like thirty five, forty, forty one nighters. You know, we all would be traveling on two buses, and and uh, we had a lot of fun doing that with all these different people. And then just about any any, any of them back there during that time, I had I had I had. Just about all of yeah, and you were saying, yeah, you had the band, so you had the, all the gentlemen, you guys were rolling the town to town, and then you came, and everybody kind of joined in, and it was a big, you know, party. Uh, you know, the greens, the games are in town. And I imagine everybody's kicking and rocking and hooping at the... I, I just can see the sock hop, you know. I, I'm 57, so I have some recollection of all those days uh, growing up. Um, yeah, you're right, and uh, and and laying the tracks and the foundation for people, and you know, God bless what you did too. And those early days of getting not only that raising the barrier for color and everybody out there, um, sir, um, I you know congratulate you for standing up and doing your thing and traveling around. Yeah, yeah, I uh, thank you for that compliment, and uh, I like to let you know, know too that I got a book of my life out there that. But they, they might want to pick up. I've been out there with all the great rock and roll uh, stars. That's the name of the book. The great rock and roll stars. Yeah, I've been out there with all the with, with, on the on the road with all the legends of rock and roll. Yeah. Um, yeah, and again, Grady Gaines Sr. is my guest right now on the Who Magoo. We are doing the Gaines tonight. Carolyn Gaines will be coming on a little bit. Uh, the thrill is gone. And I'll be playing the music afterwards. We're just doing some chatting with uh, yeah. Grady okay. Sr. for everybody. And, uh, yes, sir. Um, and those stories, and, and, and again, I'm, I'm just so touched. 87 years young to take the time to come on my show. And I hope I'm... Not going too fast, you know what I mean. I get all excited to, to, to talk to the legend like yourself, and uh, and let's talk a little bit about Carolyn, and, and you know where Carolyn came from. And I've I've talked to Carolyn many times on my show. Um, we talked about Ma Rainey and a lot of the early days. And again, that, that's what I meant, breaking the color barrier. You know, we're all kind of thinking about that today in our world. And and again, God bless what you did to stand up and be who you are out there. And uh, you know, Carolyn is carrying that on today, and now. The families got together, but the thrill is gone as the CD, everybody. So, uh, a little bit about Carolyn and her growing up, and Roy, and uh, all that good stuff. Mm-hmm. What was it like in, as a family reunion and all you guys together? Did you all sing as a team or as a family or at uh, the gain stuff? 
Ellen uh, for the well, I can tell now, and the most, she got a lot of most of stuff from my father because she was in California and I was in Houston and, and you know, in Houston and all over the world. Mm hmm. But and, uh, she, she learned quite a bit from my father, Roy Dad. So, um, uh, from me, she, she would, you know, every now and then they would visit Houston. I'd be playing a festival or something and they all would come out and we just, have a good time like that and and, 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 and uh, at that at that particular time she wasn't she wasn't singing but she, she wanted to sing so right uh, so when I know anything that she she was singing and she doing real good I think yeah and she's she's living the she's bringing the past pioneers up you know the modern as you your whole cd is about that covering the great ladies uh betsy smith and uh uh billy holiday billy holiday and etta james and ma rainey and uh and diana ross and you mentioned her father yes he was a guitar player for diana ross for many years so it's just uh what a talented family and again you have touched her because now she's carrying on and that's what we talked about when I was with her about uh, the pioneers and yourself and everybody. We wouldn't have any music without you, sir. What it is today, the blues and the rock and the sax, and, and uh, you know, God bless you for all that you've done for us. Diana, thank you. Thank you again. What a nice compliment. No problem. I tell you what, why don't we wrap it up a little bit? I, I know it's been a great time for you and everything thank you for coming on any final words any shout out to anybody in the family you'd like to uh talk about it quickly i i wish telling all the luck in the world with our city and uh it should it should really bring her on out there that's what we hoping for and so like uh my heart goes out to her and for the city to do real good Yes, we do, and and again, it's something that you guys have now on uh, digital, vinyl, everything together. And uh, usually, I love to play my music with my guests, and we go back and forth. I'm just kind of doing my interviews, and then play the music a little bit later. So, again, thank you, sir, Grady Gaines, Senior. Awesome, thank you, bro, for coming on to Humagoo tonight. Okay, God bless, sir. Hey, you're very welcome. Thank you. Thank you. God bless. Bye. -bye. Sweet home Chicago. One and one is two. 